In this video, I'm going to go over some code on how to procedurally name files on an SD card. Uh, this is using Arduino in this example. And what I mean by that is, um, now I'm using an ESP32 for this. The SD libraries between uh, an ESP32 and an actual Arduino board uh, may be slightly different, but this is an ESP32. In fact, this particular file I've written for the B data logger, which is an ESP32 data logger board. Um, if you're interested in that, check out the links below. But if you don't have that board, you don't necessarily need it uh, if you're trying to get something like this to work on your project. So feel free to poke around with this code. This code itself will also be linked down in the description below. Okay, so what I mean by procedurally naming text files is if you use the SD library for the ESP32, um, you, you name your files here, and it's hard-coded into the code. So once you compile it, and put it on your board, it's going to use hello text every time. Now, what if you wanted to change this periodically for some reason, you know, some variable or whatever the case may be? How would you do that? Well, I'm going to show you. Um, so, in this particular example that I have right now, since I'm using the B data logger, it has a built in real time clock. And what I have done is I have, and I'm going to show you an example, I have it set up to where every day, it will change the name of the file to what the date is. So if you're collecting data on one day and you want to have it neatly broken out into different files for each day, um, this is how I'm doing it. And I'm going to show you in the code. Now, you may not care about naming your files um, different dates, but you may have you know a different variable, you know, different naming convention you want to change periodically. And this should still work for that. So I'll quickly run through some of this. Some of this you, isn't really pertains to what we're actually going over, but I'll just skim over some of the stuff. I got stuff for the RTC so I can do the different days. Um, these are for the uh, SD library. So we initialize the SD card. This stuff, you don't really have to change at all. These are just functions that we call in our actual code. So we got, got all these, we got our setup. Uh, we set up the B data logger, we set up the RTC. And now we're gonna get into the meat and potatoes of it. I've set up several variables here. Um, and we've initialized the SD card. We're saving all these to strings. So I'm basically saving the date. And in fact, let me see if I can go back to this. I'll just open one of these up so you can see what it looks like, what we're actually saving. So each day it's saving this. And it just saves a date, the time, uh, a temperature, and a battery a voltage reading. And it's doing that every day. So all of, all of these things are put into... Um, variables. Uh, we have the current date, which is this is what I am using to change the text file. So as you can see, um, it's put into a string, and we have essentially, and I probably should not have closed it. Let me open it back up real quick. Apologize. So a as you can see, the name of the file is this, right? So we have to have the slash, we have to have the variable, and we have to have the dot text at the end. Whoops, as I accidentally move that. So we have to combine all these things into a single variable. So we have the slash here. There we go. We have, we have the slash. Then we do a plus sign. Then we add our variable, which is up here. So I put my string of the month into another string. So I'm or plus. So you have to break all these things out. And then we do another plus, and then we have our text at the end. So this is how we would make our text file name change. And I'm doing it by the day, but if you have some other variable in here, you could do something, you know, like, uh, you know, whatever your variable is, like this, if you have something simple. Okay. So we're going to come down here. We're going to try and open this. So this is essentially, this is what it's going to look like uh, to the Arduino or the ESP32 in this case. It'll look something like, you know, I'm just going to spit out a date. I don't know. So it'll kind of look like this. So we're putting this, and this is what it's trying to open. And we do this as a C string. If you try and do this as a regular string, it will not work. The C string is very important to this <laughs> equation. 
So it'll try and open it. If it doesn't exist, it'll create it, and then it'll put in uh, the header, basically, that's inside of um, what this file looks like, which is this right here, okay? Uh, this is useful if you want to import it into like a CSV file or into Google Sheets or Excel or something. This will be the top of uh, your header, and then the rest of these will be your columns. Okay. And we have to break out each of these with a comma. Okay. And then on the end, instead of a comma, we do a carriage return and a new line uh, return right there. Okay. So we have that. And then as we come down here, we have our data message, and this is what's actually being saved. Uh, this is a data message. It's all the bits of uh, data put into a single message. And we have, so we basically have our date, or at least in this instance, we have our day, we have our time, we have the temperature, and we have the battery reading down here. All of these are broken out with commas. And then uh, we append it. So and this is how we append it to that file. It's the same thing. It's the whatever your variable is that you want to change periodically. Uh, do it with a C string, and then we append the, the data message the same exact way. And this is how that works. It's it's actually fairly simple, but getting it to work uh, could be a kind of a pain in the butt if you're not exactly sure what you're doing. Um, so yeah, it's. Like I said, not that hard, it's pretty simple. All you have to do is make sure whatever string you're putting these into, and this is kind of the meat and potatoes, is make sure you're using a C string and it should work. So if you have any questions, leave, leave them down below and I'll try and answer them as best I can. And uh, like I said, all the links to everything is down in the description. So feel free to take a look at that if you're interested. So if you like this type of video, please like and subscribe and I will see you guys in the next video.